Yeah, it's been, um, I guess, a bit of a turbulent start to the, the season. We've done round one of six in the Junior World Rally Championship. Um, you know, we had, it was a bit of an up and down event. We had a few mechanical um, problems, a flat tyre which had, we had to stop and change in the stage. So the end result, we finished eighth, with eighth which um, isn't, isn't bad, but wasn't what we wanted. So, um, you know, we got some points anyway. It's a solid start, um, but, you know, we've got a lot to work on and a lot to improve in the next round. So we're really looking forward to, um, you know, having a better crack at it next time. Yeah, the, the next round's in Poland. Uh, the roads are super, super fast. Uh, quite a tricky rally because it's all um, very fast roads through the hills so that you, um, you know, there's a lot of blind crests and things like that. So it's a, it's a tricky rally, but I, I love fast, fast roads, especially, you know, coming from rallying in Australia, we have a lot of really good fast roads. So um, I think the conditions will actually suit me. So we're really looking forward to it. You know, having someone that's helped me since I first, first began and, you know, been able to Bring her in the car and share the experience was really good and she's you know a fantastic co-driver as we all know so uh, from that point of view also it, it was good for me so we, re we really enjoyed it um you know she's yeah it was great to have in the car um you know i, I don't know how, how long term that would be just given you know the fact that she's i don't want to say my mum's old she'll kill me for saying that <laughs> but you know like um you know in the future but for me right now it, it's brilliant we uh, you know i think every mother daughter have those mother daughter moments but you know we're both very conscious that when it, when we get to the rally it's dry, you know driver co-driver it's a professional relationship and that seems to work really well you know she she knows you know from all her experience um, what the driver needs and what the co-driver is expected of the co-driver and vice versa so um, yeah from that point of view it's just like any other driver co-driver yeah, I guess, I mean, there's been a lot of times where, you know, people have, have said, yeah, that would have been awesome, and it isn't until you, you're so engrossed in the moment, you don't really stop and look back and go, oh, wow, that was pretty special. So, um, yeah, I mean, you definitely do. You appreciate and love every moment of it, but um, a lot of the time you're very much, you know, in the zone and you're just thinking about the next thing ahead of you and you don't really sort of, I guess, look back at the big picture as, you know, in the event, there's so much going on that, um, you know, you're just focused on the next job. <laughs> That's yeah, what think. Yeah. I'd love to have a crystal ball, you know, every year I have this grand plan of what's going to happen over the next three years and every time it, it goes left, right, up, down, you know, sideways, it's, um, you know, it's a very dynamic sport, I guess, and a lot of it ultimately comes down to, uh, to money. So, um, you know, that's where people, you know, the support of the CAMS Foundation has been absolutely critical um, to the junior WRC campaign, and from there, you know, that's really a, a stepping stone to move up in the WRC, and that would be, that would be awesome. It's quite, it's quite funny, actually, I often say that, um, you know, when you get to the rally and get in the car, like, that's the, then you, you know, you can relax, and that's, that's almost one of the smallest components, um, day to day, of what, what I do to, to get the program, to get the funding in place, to, to work out, you know, those deals, look for more funding, put the packages together, and, and look after all of that side of things, and, and then prepare for the rally, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's as big a job as you, you want to make it really, and it's, you know, it's my life, that's all I think about. <laughs> it's a difficult, I guess, um, you know, because it so much depends on, on the variables and the funding and performance and, you know, all of that, but it's definitely, you know, I went over in 2009 and, I've, you know, managed to, to keep it going now and, and move up the ladder and, um, I guess, looking back in 2009, if you'd said, you know, you'll be doing the Junior World Championship, I wouldn't have thought, you know, I would have always wanted that to happen, but, you know, for it to actually be a reality is, um, would have been quite surreal. And so I guess now it doesn't feel like anything special. And I'm looking to the next goal. So, I mean, I'm always taking one step forward and trying to improve. Um, and, you know, if things go right, we're in a good position. But, um, you know, I'm also very aware of, you know, how difficult the, the process is. I'd love to compete at the World Rally Championship round in Australia at the moment. You know, all our resources are focused on the JWRC program, but, um, you know, I'm going to keep pushing for any and every opportunity for that. But um, my dad and I actually competing in a rally. It's a, it's a week-long um, classic outback trial. Uh, we're building at the moment at the home in the shed at old classic DS23, uh, which he used to rally back back in the day. And he, he tells me they're marvelously handling car, and I'm um, looking forward to seeing see what he thinks. But we're going to um, we're going to share the driving and the co-driving, and I think it'll be an adventure. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty easy for my. I don't. I think I, I. Yeah, I think Dad's more worried. I'm more worried about Dad navigating, not from. I think he won't be able to look at the navigating things. He'll just be um, yeah holding on and. And um, yeah, try not to scream, I think. <laughs>